everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we are starting a brand new series. We are playing some Anno 1800. This is a game that dropped officially today. Uh, the open beta was this last weekend, so you had an opportunity to play it, but the game is officially uh, uh, launching today on the Epic Games Store. I'm playing it on Steam because I pre-ordered it. Uh, this is the seventh Anno game in the series. I have a little bit of familiarity with the previous ones, but uh, this is really my first foray into the Anno series and I'm really really excited for this so if you're unfamiliar with how the Anno series is this game is essentially a city builder uh, something similar to Banish but unlike Banish it has like politics and warfare and trading and it's just a lot more complex and it's a lot more cooler also the level of detail in this game is just strikingly impressive uh, the other thing is we will be taking our quaint little village that you know we start out with and we're going to be upgrading it to the industrial revolution eventually exploring the new world and all kinds of fun stuff like that so um this is quite a excellent game from the little bit i've played like i said i think i put about an hour into it thus far just to kind of um i mean it's a city builder so essentially you kind of know how most things work but um it's definitely uh a, a, i think it was a good opportunity for me just to learn all the mechanics so this was my previous campaign we're going to go ahead and start a new campaign we could also do sandbox mode but i think campaign uh for now will be the best uh also heard the campaign's not too long and eventually it opens up to a sandbox mode after that so we'll probably do the campaign once we finish that we might just go ahead and hop into sandbox maybe just start a new campaign we'll have to see what we think of the campaign but um or at least that sandbox mode and we'll keep on more guidance for now just so it uh recommends you know us um and then i think so i was playing as the uh the ubisoft club girl i unlocked however i, I feel like some of the story was a little weird with us not being a guy i don't know it was like tale of the two brothers and stuff like that and i'm like i'm a girl so let's be the dap let's be the freaking dap admiral yeah i like that we could also be like the scruffy dude you know what the scruffy dude might make more sense for us yeah Ooh, we could be like the pirate buccaneer guy Ooh, I kind of like the pirate buccaneer guy. I also really, really like the, ah, I got a monocle because I am amazing. I kind of think his name is Jeff. Yeah, he needs to be a Jeff. With that monocle like that, he needs to be Jeff. He definitely needs to be Jeff. So what, uh, what logo do we want for ourselves? I mean, I don't really want to be like piratey. I kind of want to be like a pseudo like regal guy. Yeah, let's put the crown on our heads. I like the crown. I like the crown. And what kind of color? Nice black. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. So one of the names I got, like, there's some pretty freaking hilarious names here. One of the names I got earlier was, uh, 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 uh Naki Teriyaki. I was like, what? <laughs> so, uh, we definitely need to be, uh, Jeff something. Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff O'Hare. Sure. Sure, we'll be Jeff O'Hare. And I don't really know the differences on the alternate skins, so we'll just leave them on and the memorial whatever we'll leave it as is so we're gonna go with the normal mode for now we will start game we're gonna have a little bit of an intro there's some cutscenes. story's kind of eh, it's fine i mean i think it's 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 moderately entertaining um it's gonna take us to actually get into actual city builder portion of the game um uh, but it should be uh not long for us to get there we get a little bit of backstory of who we are we're probably gonna end up maybe skipping some of these cutscenes in the future i don't know so just fyi there might be some cuts it's very pretty though like even this island man like there's what i think a crocodile right up here yeah well, that's one fast crocodile i'll have to say <laughs> he is curving I have presumed I knew you. Now, it's made by a German but developer, now, so I think that's why the void sync is all weird, but from your father go unopened. Yet one scribbled from your sister. Apparently we didn't like everything. her dad. I didn't even know you had a sister. Yeah, I don't much talk about my sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Nah. I don't know how to work, man. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Come on. Uh, so we need to fetch a st uh, stick of dynamite from our old lighthouse. So let's go move over here and get close to it. Now, it had some issues the first time I played this where I kept clicking on it and it refused to give me the dynamite. So, so I would very much love for you to actually give me the dynamite here. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
to have a future. And so then the goal is to throw out some dynamite and blow up some fishies. Uh, first time I did this, I blew up three fishies at once. I'm starting to think that might not be possible, so we're just going to do this, and we're just going to kill multiple fish at once. Or, uh, instead of killing multiple fish at once, we're going to do that. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. No, 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 we're too late. We're too late. We're too late. We're too late. Go here. Ah, miss. All right, we'll kill all these fish. That's fine. I mean, you know, we're a good guy. We're a good guy. We're going and killing fish with dynamite, you know. It's definitely not something that's illegal yet in the world. <laughs> uh, so let's go deliver the fish to you. And then we'll be done with this little tutorial area and we can actually get to the uh, building. Do I have to click this? Oh, no, no. We just have to agree to it. Tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon. And nobody wants you to miss it. Uh, okay, cool. That sounds good. So cutscene again. It's a very pretty game. Like that just looks awesome. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? Totally. No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. So he's like our Chewbacca Even then, right? If a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I mean, I guess he's like our Chewbacca. He has a life debt towards us. I don't really know our backstory. Is this from one of the previous games? I don't know. Anything of you firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Eh, calm down. Our father is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now so it's like Game of Thrones right now. Our dad, Sean Bean. Your father is in dungeon. It must kill him. Please come. Well, I hate to break it to you, but um, <laughs> if our dad, Sean Bean, it probably doesn't bode well for him. Um, so I'm a Stark kid. Gotcha. I should name myself Jeff Stark. That would have been a little more fitting. Forget Jeff O'Hare. It's a terrible airport. Could have been Jeff Stark. I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's not really too bright anymore. It's changed now. I mean, it is England, right? Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Edvard. Barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Father barely cold. Oh, he died. Gotcha. Well, that was quick. You can see the industrial stuff, like, oh my gosh, like, that just looks so freaking pretty, man. So freaking pretty. Like, even, like, it reminds me a lot of Red Dead Redemption, honestly. You never said how wealthy you were. Hello. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. No, I didn't know about it. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. I mean, I did warn you. I did warn you. I did warn you. What can I say? What can I say? Even the church is freaking, like, really, really pretty. I wonder if you can actually build a church like this with all the tombstones and stuff like that? Probably not. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. Oh, he's my uncle! That makes more sense now. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. Better make yourself scarce. Yo, piss off, dude. He's our evil uncle. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, Story sure moved quick, man. I just arrived. Die trying. How about how about we just make ourselves rich and forget our dad? Oh well. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. Also, if this is Game of Thrones, we're probably all gonna die. So let's just be honest. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. Sure thing, Captain. Alrighty. So now we get to the actual uh, city building aspect of the game. Chapter 1. You have no new quest. A tale of two brothers. Isn't that already a game? Pretty sure that's already a game. So we're going to get a little bit of tutorial stuff here as we begin. Um, still here? Establishing a rival company on that 
disheveled island. I mean, it's kind of ugly. I will throw that out there. It's not the best of island. Let but, you know, we got lots of room to expand. Oh, what are these? Yes, but Oil. If you Ooh, are a nice. Father, nice. You will look beyond appearances. So, first thing we need to do is we need to throw down the marketplace. Shelter the good, loyal people and then we need to build some houses. Family. Now, you can see there's a lot of crap on the ground right now. Uh, all these districts that, country. like, got ruined. So, we can't really build there yet. So, we're going to have to kind of be a little bit, like, picky with how we build things. So, I'm going to try building you back as far as possible. Now, the houses, the big thing with the houses is you have to connect all of the houses up to the marketplace. We also have to connect the marketplace up with our shipyard. Let's go ahead and run the road over to here. We'll do something like that and you know, we'll take the road like this just for uh, future dock stuff. All right, and then from there, we're gonna wanna build some residences. Um, we can go too wide and that looks to be pretty okay. And then we will go take, uh, we have to take roads here. If we don't take the roads by the houses, they're going to start complaining about happiness. So you can see their needs right now. So they need marketplaces, they need fish, they need clothes. But unfortunately, that stuff is all locked right now, so we can't quite get to it. So he thinks you're trying to undermine his business and is embarrassed for you. <laughs> okay. Desperate to appear responsible. Uh, to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral. Falls to you. I didn't even get to go to the funeral because you basically kicked me out. So you don't need to produce everything. You can just pay for it instead. Select the goods you like to purchase. Blah, blah, blah. We don't want to trade for it. So he's angry that good son's not offered to foot the funeral bill. Apparently he didn't get along with his daddy. Uh, or sorry, his brother. So uh, we also need to go ahead and start building out some timber. So let's go ahead and produce ourselves. So we got, and this is the cool thing about this game. So if you want timber, for example, you see that you're gonna need a lumberjack hut and then you're gonna need a sawmill to produce it. So we can throw down a timber, timber mill um, and you don't have to necessarily put it in the trees because it will start produce. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Um, but it will start producing, uh, it'll start planting the trees for itself. I think I wanna kinda put it near the coast. Yeah, let's do something like that. And let's go ahead and throw down two right away. I think I'll put the other one a little further away. And you can see that there's a little bit of crossover, but that's okay. Uh, we'd like to be on the same line so our roads fit. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And then let's go do this road here to here. And then let's get a road going all the way over here. And we'll connect up to there. Now, there's a couple other things we're going to need. We're going to want the sawmill. Now, as you can see, if we put the sawmill in it, it's going to lower production on both of those guys. So I will put the sawmill there. And then we're also going to need warehouses. The warehouse, essentially, if you've been watching Tropico, basically it's like Teamster Huts. Um, basically, it's a storage for goods. And they'll go pick up, you know, the logs. They'll also pick up this, and then they'll store it there. So Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. All right, so Mr. Edvard Goody speaks of a bold new era for good and sons, Goody. Uh, nobly bearing the burden, a terrible traitor brother dropped at his door. Traitor dies mysteriously in prison. Uh, Samuel Good couldn't face humiliation of a trial. Why are their names Good and my name is, you know, O'Hare? And then Empire Rocked by Sale of Strategic Island Prosperity. And your six little mouths will go hungry. Okay. So you can see that there's no warehouse in range, so right now it's stuck. He twists every article in his now, we can't build it yet because we need some logs. So we have to produce out some uh, 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 timber before we can actually uh, uh, build this. So we're just going to have to essentially wait for a little bit, I guess, for it to actually finish. Um, we also need 8 to 10 residencies, so we should probably go ahead and knock out the rest of our houses while we're here, too. So we'll go ahead and build you guys here. Uh, we can only pop out two, um, but it does blueprint the rest for now, which is fine. And once again, these guys, whoopsie, 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 go ahead and delete that. Yeah. And so uh, at any point, we can actually come here, and once we get the logs, we can start popping them out. Um, but once again, it's kind of worthless for us to get it until we get some more of these guys popping out. And you guys are going a little slow. We might as well go up to the fastest speed at this point. So you're going to start hauling wood, and you can see our little wagons here. So he's taking the wood there. He's taking six there, and then these guys are going to pop out some timber. We're Wait, at one see. right now. Uh, actually, our timber's at zero right now. So do we need a workshop? 
I feel confused because we don't have the workshop, so we're kind of stuck. Uh, we might get some lumber as soon as we attract enough farmers. That's the only thing I can think of is happening. Yeah, we're at 5 of 10, 4 of 10, so we... Uh, we definitely have spots for the extra people. We're just going to have to wait a little bit for that to happen. Okay, so then we can clear Ruined District. Ah, okay. So then our people are going to go here, start clearing this out. It's going to give us more space. And then this is also going to give us the timber. So we can then go ahead and upgrade you. There we go. And now we got timber production fully going. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Sounds good. So she asked you to clear the first Ruin. Cleared, uh, pleased with our work. Yay, we're great, everything's it's awesome. So now they want us to start working to on a fishery. Now this is probably the coolest thing of the game. So you can see I can create our own little dock here, or if we attach it to the previous dock, it basically just becomes one uh, big dock. Like that's just so freaking pretty, man. The people walking in and out of it, you know, the ships coming to and from, you know, we can see all these houses here, the marketplace, people just hanging out. Like it's so freaking beautiful of a game. Like I love it. And it really isn't that big of a resource hog either, which is a little surprising to me. Um, but it's gonna be even prettier here in a couple weeks when I get myself my new video card, but um, that's a couple weeks away. So we need some more uh, farmers the game is requesting, so we're just gonna go work on some of this. And we got new status, village, woo. So we unlocked new stuff. So we now unlocked uh, the ability to make schnapps and work clothes, you know. By far the coolest thing. Also, they're going to want us to clear out some of this stuff, so we will click there. So we need to clear the abandoned marking district, and then from timber, build small warehouse connected trading posts. Where's the trading post? Don't we have a trading post? Huh. Alright, well, let's go work on our schnapps first. Well, we could probably work on the clothes first, actually. Um, now, how are our roads going to match up here is the question. Nah, our roads are slightly off. We should have built this up one tile. But we will live with it. So, um, let's go do... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do this right away? Actually, yeah, we could just do that right there. So we'll go here with that, and then uh, to make wool, we need, or sorry, to make clothes, we need sheep farm, and then we need uh, framework uh, knitters. So we're going to go put the farm down here. I'm going to put the farm a little bit away from the houses. Yeah, we'll do something like here. Well, we're going to actually build two. We'll do that, and then we'll do that. And then for the farms, what we need is we actually need a place for uh, the sheep. So we need uh, some livestock areas. So we're gonna go ahead and build three of these, and that's, well, it's actually complaining about not having a uh, uh, a warehouse, so. And what's really cool, once again, is you can see it just connects up all the sheep pens. So it just looks so cool. All right, so let's get ourselves another warehouse. And unfortunately, this isn't big enough. Really? Really? Yeah, it's one too big. I'm wondering about maybe doing I bet we could put houses here, though, right? I bet these were small enough. Eh, they're a little too big for houses. Hmm. What about rotating these and doing it differently? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to put a workout oh, here. You outdo yourself. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's just get rid of that. And let's just do this. And then they can just go to this warehouse there. So the warehouses are all interconnected. So it's not like every workhouse has individual storage. All the workhouses share a storage. So you just need these guys to actually have storage nearby. That's basically it. And then we're going to go put a knitter right there. Um, and that won't hit into our lumber production. Now, we'll probably want to do another road over there. Because once again, you know, we kind of want these guys not to get hit. I see trouble. Actually, you know what? We're wasting a little bit of money. But I think I'm going to actually build this on the other side. Yeah, I think I'm going to put you there instead. Just because we want the roads probably to go off a little bit. Alright, so you wanted a fire station. Let's go ahead and throw this down right here by the marketplace. You could fit in right here. That'll work. And then we will do another road here. Just for that. So anytime a building catches fire, then they're going to go hopefully put it out. Raise farmer's happiness. We're at negative 15 right now. I won't lie. Nice. Nice. Well, we should be working on clothes. Happiness, they want some schnapps and they want a pub, which is what we're about to work on. So, let's go get our schnapps going. I think... I think let's go up a little bit. 
I think let's maybe do some schnapps over in this direction. Like, maybe let's get some more houses. Now, eventually you will start running out of... Uh, you'll run out of, like, workers. Uh, and so, uh, you gotta be a little careful. You gotta manage it a little bit. So, for schnapps, we need some potato farms. Because, you know, good old potato farms. We just connected you to the road. What are you complaining about? Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We gotta connect the roads there. And so then with the potato farms... Nah, 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 nah. With the potato farms, we need some fields. So we can do something like this. That's gonna be the best way to do this. Ah, dang it. Wrong button. Can I not... See, I want that. We definitely want to do that. And then let's go grab this and connect you up here as far as you will go. I think I'd rather do that, even though it's missing a few. Eh, maybe I should do that. Okay, and then let's do another potato farm. And it's complaining about a lack of a warehouse, but that's okay for now. And we're going to go do that. We're going to go do this. And then let's get you going as far as possible. Ooh, you can't go any further because of that. Well, we'll live with that for now. So then we need a distillery. And we're going to need another work warehouse over here. So we will put this warehouse here. And so you'll see it's at 71, 50, 26. And if we click over here on this warehouse, it's got the same stuff. So it's all shared. So you are complaining because you're missing potato fields. But we're just going to live with that for the time being until this stuff gets cleared out. I think it's going to be like one of the next ones. So we're good on workers right now. Uh, we do need a pub. So I would like to put the pub as close to the center of town as possible. Because everyone loves a pub. And we'll put it right there. You make mold hills out and the so we actually already uh, got that happiness going. So got plenty of supply for schnapps. Now we just need to have four in tow to pay off to pay off our funeral costs because you know funerals get paid for by schnapps. Uh, we're actually clearing that one. Yeah, and this one just cleared as well. All right, cool. So then that means we can come back here and we can get the rest of our fields going. I think, I think that's it, right? I think that's perfect. Yeah, those guys match up perfectly. Oh, per preferably, we would have put that all the way there, but eh, oh well. Like, put this one there, and then it would have been perfect symmetry, but it's fine. Uh, Hannah says people in Bright Sands are unhappy with us. Okay. Yeah, we'll pay you. There's your schnapps, man. What do you guys want? Neighbor, it's not time to prepare for the winter in Minis. Forecast especially a wicked one. Have you some timber to spare for the fireplace? Uh, yeah, take the freaking stuff, man. Ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Yeah, take the timber, man. Is there no limit to Uncle's shame? Provide demands? residents with 15 wood. Uh, don't we have 15 wood? Done it. We have 75 wood. How do I provide you? Winter is coming. Provide the resident with 15 timber wood. 15 T wood. Oh, there it is. Well, ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Kindness. So she gave us a crone. Now she gave us a mate. So you can equip it on a ship. Okay, cool. So find your cousin leaving a mod. Leaving, leading a mob. All right, so we got to, oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Cousin. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. So now we need to find the five rioting mobs, which can be a little hit or miss. Um, this might take us a second. Some of these finding missions get a little annoying because you're like, where are they? And you just keep tabbing around, tabbing around, tabbing around. You can see his city here, which is just a freaking pretty city, man. Really, really pretty city. It's quite big. Quite big. Quite big. Okay, where are the rest of these mobs, man? We still need three more. There's one. Two. Three. Boom. Where's our island? Oh, our ship. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, he said ship. You may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. The newspaper editor wants Edvard as to leave Edvard as well. So, all right, and then select his ship in the harbor. Everybody on board? Good. Really? All right, let's go. Let's go. What has what? left of the family? No shame. That it now resorts to abducting my workers. The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Oh no, not the Queen's ambassador. 
He's such a good British chop. I love him. I love him. Even though he is, you know, a terrible Kim uncle. Is a severe accusation. Eh, I do what I have and to do. If I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. This is a very pretty town. Pencil polishing Poppin J. Pencil polishing Poppin J. There is no reason for that Pencil language. Chibio. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. Dude, this is one killer palace. You, My El Presidente needs to live up here. He's got peacocks. He's got freaking peacocks. And confidant to the queen. Despite the circumstances, her majesty ah, I want and I his house. were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. Well, isn't that your fault? The Since you're in charge of this? Is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid. I'm sorry I'm producing schnapps as quick as possible, man. <laughs> Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. That's not how you spell license. Edvard, register. That looks like lice. <laughs> Edvard, you punk. That's all tiring. Can't hold this back anymore. All right, cousin. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Well, we got a ship, man. Alright, so now with our ship, we can go engage in combat, you know, if we wanted to, but, you know. As far, I have not run into combat yet in the game. New enterprise taking shape. So, he reminds you of your outstanding debt. So we need Edvard upgrade some of our buildings, and now. then we have to wait uh, to hear more about our debt. House those workers. So now with the ship, what we're going to do is we're going to send you out to explore. One of the other things with the game is if you hit spacebar, you'll notice that there's this whole other area over there. So this is like the new world, and eventually you get like explorations and stuff like that. Um, I think you can even go colonize it, but I hadn't got to that point in the game yet. Also, too, oh yeah, there's these awesome, like really cool looking uh, cameras. Well, that's freaking pretty, man. That's freaking pretty, man. Um, so if I escape and I hit F2, oh yeah, F2 rotates. What's F3 do? Does F3 do anything? No, F3 doesn't do anything. All right, well, anyways. Ah! Ah! Yet another crook fingered wretch. All right, so we met Eli Bookworth and the Not prison. Of yours is Hi. Out in the open. Hi. I don't know if the pirate chick's in this mission, but we'll see. So, uh, we need to upgrade our houses to worker residencies. So, once you get them, once you provide them with fish and clothes and a marketplace, then you can start upgrading them. And so, we're just going to go select some of these, and we're just going to upgrade them to uh, worker houses now. And look at how pretty they are. Now, you'll notice we have 72 workers, but we only have 15 farmers. So, you got to be a little careful. So, we could upgrade everything, but then we wouldn't have any farmers to work these other jobs jobs it needs to be immaculate so you want us to remove more ruins you're gonna have us remove that that's fine we need to attract 150 workers we need to clear the abandoned smeltery can we do clay deposits now yeah we now have the agent industrialization so yeah we can definitely start doing the clay pit so the clay pit allows us to start building bricks which is going to be essentially uh how we end up building uh well, how we end up building most everything here later in the game. So let's go get a road going here. We're going to connect you over there. We'll take this road up here for now. And uh, so we're doing a clay pit, and then the clay pit is going to pop off the bricks. So we'll do the bricks, and then remember, we're going to also need a warehouse over here because you just basically always need a warehouse. And so we're going to put the warehouse there. Now, I think there was, yeah, there's a couple more clay pits. I don't know if we can actually get over there, but we're going to go ahead and just pop these out because bricks tend to be a little hard to come by. Like, they take a while, so I think I'm going to do something like this. Construction material missing. Wait, what? Wait, do we build a paved road? No, this is a normal dirt road. So, why can't we do this? 
Missing construction material. Oh, we don't have enough timber to build the bridge. Ah, all right. So you can see now we are missing a ton of workers. We have still a surplus of farmers, but we're missing a ton of workers. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pop back over here to farmers. Uh, and we're going to need some more farmer residencies. And then we're going to have to upgrade quite a few of these as well to uh, uh, worker residencies. But now keep in mind, we probably don't have the ability to do... I didn't actually want to build that house there. Uh, delete you. Uh, we also don't have enough stuff right now to build these either, but that's a whole other issue. So we're going to do that, do that, do that. Uh, let's get the roads coming around over here. Get the roads coming over there. Get the roads coming over there. Get the roads coming over there. Uh, and then get the roads going over there. All right. Uh, we completely screwed up that road up there, so let's go demolish that right there. All right. So we also have another quest here from these people. So yes, I will help you out. Could they be even better? Collect the gift offered by the resident. Uh, all right. Give me the gift. Is it the balloons? All right, there you go. For a big boss. So this allows us to be equipped in the trade union, which we hadn't built yet. And there I you go. Build the trade union and then equip it. But we still need to go here and start doing some upgrades. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is the more houses we upgrade, the more clothes and stuff we're going to need. And the more fish and stuff we're going to need. So we got to be a little careful here. Um, I think I will go ahead and just build ourselves another fishery. Um, because we will need it. Can I build on the same line? It doesn't look like it. So then we're going to have to take our road here. And then our road's going to have to go up over here. Please. We'll do something like that for now. So that'll go there. We might actually even want a warehouse over here. I don't know. Actually, I don't think we need a warehouse here because the trading post, I think, counts as the warehouse. Okay, so that's going to be more fishes. Uh, how is our clothes? Our clothes is good, so we can definitely do some more upgrading. Production not possible. Okay, what are you missing? Okay, you're it's basically just a time thing, it looks like. Maybe? Promotion not possible. Upgrade residence. Oh! We need lumber. Okay. So, since we are missing a ridiculous amount of lumbers, what are you also? Output storage full. Ah! Gotcha. So, this is what's happening then right now. We actually want ourselves a second sawmill. And we'll put you like that. So since we're getting output storage full, that means it's basically filling up right now uh, with this guy. This one's filling up. So by having two of these, they're going to go a little bit quicker. I don't know if we actually need more trees. Um, but honestly, getting a second lumber mill probably isn't the worst thing in the world. And by second lumber mill, I mean, you know, all this stuff. So let's go uh, pop you over here. Let's go ahead and do another... Yeah, another one of these guys. Do that, and then I think we're going to build uh, one of these. And then we're going to do... Not that. We're going to put another warehouse here. Essentially a teamster hut. Just so you can go knock that out. So that hopefully is going to give us more than enough logs for the time being. And then we should hopefully be able to just keep upgrading these guys. Probably all these guys are eventually going to become workers, and we'll put the farmers elsewhere. But we now got Port Town. Congrats, everyone. Warnings, there's a shortage of workers. There's a shortage of workers. We still have a shortage of workers despite all you of this. So. Fortitude. There you go. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Okay, so now we're actually short on farmers. So we can use the upgrade tool to actually have these get built. I, and I think those use... I don't remember what these oh. used to actually upgrade. Okay, they do use timber. So we're just going to start building all of these as we get timber. It's not like you have any use for them. So we need to produce sails. That one is um, uh, interesting. Is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we pop over here to workers, we can see what we can build now for workers. Um, the other thing is, if we ever want to upgrade the workers, well, if we want to make them happy, we're actually going to need to start popping out some sausage. Um, so for sausage, we're going to need pig farms and then a slaughterhouse. We'll get that here in a second. To get sales, we already have sheep farms, so we can actually just pop out uh, one of these guys, and he will start uh, popping out uh, some sales there automatically. And we might already have enough sheep that we won't have to worry about, uh, um, 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 up, uh, well, building more sheep farms. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go back here. Let's go back to upgrading. Let's get a lot of these houses built. I wish it would just build what it can. 
think if you don't have enough, eh, it was building what it can. So we're just trying to get all these houses popped out as quick as possible. Uh, and then just get all these. Uh, once again, we are short of workers. My gosh, dude, one freaking thing, and that was 45 short. <laughs> That's a little crazy. I'm just going to build all these houses first, and then we'll worry about upgrading after. So two, four, six. There we go. And so we need, what, 10, I think it is, to upgrade that? Now, we also want a trade union, they requested. So the trade union is here. And then it gives a production boost to everything in range, if I remember correctly. Now, the thing is, what do we need for that? We need 25 timber. So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait a little bit. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like we're still having this issue over here. So let's just go ahead and pop out some more uh, uh, timber over here. There's a nice little 100 there. Is that on the road? I can't actually tell. Hit S. Oh, yeah, we were actually going to go build stuff on these two as well. But we couldn't ever finish the bridge. <laughs> uh, someday. Someday. I wonder if that actually has to be on the road. I don't know. Hey, I didn't even hear the fire. There you go. Get all that stuff built. So then hopefully this is going to pop things out a little bit quicker. Um, let's go get our roads going here. Now, like I said before, you're probably going to complain. Let's get you connected there. And didn't we start building here? Yeah, yeah, you need a lumber mill. Or, sorry, a work uh, house. Then do something like that. Construction material missing. Yeah, we're missing just a little bit of timber. We need 20 for that. Golly, bridges are expensive, man. Bridges are expensive. So, uh, we're going to do a brick and all that stuff over here. Oh, you can have your sails, man. You can have your sails. You can have your sails. Uh, 18. My gosh, man. So much lumber. If you do, be sure to return any salvage to me. Come on. What? No, 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 no. Come on. What? 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 Why? Maybe if I demolish this, I get my timber back. So the only thing I can think of is because of this stuff right there. It's boxing us out. Do something like this. And then we'll do something like that. And then let's go, uh, what is it? It's right click. Let's go demolish this stuff there. Okay, that'll work for now. We are missing a bunch of workers still. So let's go do some upgrades. You guys here. Hello, lag. Uh, now we're five short. And now we got plus 15. Okay, so we got plenty of guys. Let's get a couple more. There we go. Okay, so a couple things we need to do. We need to work on our workers, and we need to get some pig farms going. So let's go ahead and throw the pig farm up over here. So the pig farm is going to work pretty much the exact same way as the um, uh, as the sheep. So we're going to go here, except it has five instead of three. So it's something like that. Uh, no, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Yeah, it's the other way. I forgot how to actually build it. There's a way to build it so you get the perfect symmetry. I think it's this way. I think it's that way, that way, and then... No, that's not it either. Ah, it... Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. And then... And then it's here. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got it. So, one like that. And there's probably multiple ways to actually build this, but, you know, whatever. This way works for us. So now this is one big giant pig thing. And so let's go ahead and pop some sausages out here. We actually have the workshop here. So that should be close enough. In fact, I'm going to actually delete you. And let's put you a little closer. I don't know if you get your money back. Yeah, I don't really know if you get your money back. But we're just going to put you right there. So you're a little bit closer. So now that should start giving us a little bit of... Uh, that's going to supply their needs. So that should make them a little happier. Uh, use a ship to rescue the group of castaways. So where's my ship? We need you to come over here and go pick up these castaways. We're busy working on pigs and stuff like that. Uh, you also need a... What do you need? You have one extra potato field, which I don't care about. But your output is full on potatoes. So that actually means then we can start doing another schnapps. So since we have too many potatoes right now, um, but our schnapps aren't full up, that means we can start working on more schnapps. Uh, not a pub. Uh, where was the schnapps? Here you go. 
So let's do another schnapps factory. And so then you can start popping out more schnapps. And, you know, having extra schnapps is never a bad thing. Where's our ship? Where is our freaking ship, man? I thought I told... There you are. There you are. So go pick up these people. And then go pick up those people. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Uh, probably. Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. Imposter? Let's get the trade union popped out. It bears Edvard's seal. So I'm actually going to try upgrading this here as soon as we get 20 bricks so we get a little more storage. Deliver them to prison at once and I might lift your debt. So we can either open the sealed document on our ship or bring Edward's prisoner to Eli. Uh, I think we're going to open the letter because I don't like my uncle. It's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Yeah, well, he's a dick. So, dear Governor Bleakworth, more of the traitor Samuel's conspirators, crimes and sentences as follow. Ernest stealing, use of foul language, 16 years with hard labor. Yeah, seems about right. Very good heart, impersonation, transportation to the antipods. Elias Noble, writing a threatening letter, life imprisonment. Honora Decent, character assassination, life imprisonment. The judge saw very well my view that any lack of proof that they conspired with the traitor was, in itself, evidence that they're hiding something. All things considered, his verdict could have been far worse. While I am under no obligation to explain such detail, I thought, as a fellow dispenser of justice, the facts of the case may be of interest to you. Sincerely, Edvard Goodard. Goodman? Goodard? Well, I forgot what their name was. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know he's not a good guy, so I don't know why you're surprised. I'm astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. A retrial? So we're actually maxed out right now in Timber. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Uh, let's go ahead while this is, you know, while they're talking about this crap, and let's start getting some more uh, bricks going. So we want that there. Uh, can we put you over here? can put you there okay and then we're gonna need a couple more warehouses eh, eh. Well, let's put the warehouse here first and I think we're gonna have to actually take you know I'm not sure we can actually do this because of that yeah I don't think we can put the warehouse there no it's gonna be a little bit of an issue so we'll put you there then. And then that should have uh, get all that. So we can basically then bring Edvard's political prisoners to Eli or bring Edvard's political prisoners to Sir Archduke Blake. I think we're going to bring them to here. I think we're going to bring them to the good guys. So let's bring you over here. So he's the Queen's representative. He always has interesting items and goods for sale at his harbor. So who is this guy? Oh, that's this guy. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I don't like him at all. What is it you are bringing? Hi, I'm bringing prisoners. Really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. Okay, so he lifts our debt to him. Perfect. And so we need to equip an that item with the trade union. Business. And what right has the crown to meddle in my accounts? He's furious right. that you snitched on him. <laughs> ah, suck it. Suck it. All right, so let's do this. This gives us extra production, uh, productivity and everything in range. Your father would be proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are welcome. You are welcome. All right. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up this first episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Just in the game cam on. Share your support. Next episode, we will continue on with this. We will keep expanding our village, and we're going to see what this game has in store for us. So until then, I will see you. Bye, everybody.